What's up? I'm back with another makeup tutorial that I'm going to be doing today. I'm playing a little bit with the settings, um, white balance, all that good stuff, and also I'm going to try to do it as a voiceover tutorial this time to see if I like that better than the talk through one that I did last time. Kind of, you know, experimenting still. This is only my second video. I'm really excited because I got a lot of new beauty products, much to my husband's chagrin. Uh, I picked up the Anastasia Moonchild Highlight Palette, which I'm so excited for. These are such pretty little highlighters, uh, which you can obviously also use as makeup. I also recently put in a big order at Morphe and I got a whole new collection of brushes. These are their copper brushes. They're so pretty. So I'm really excited to use all of these new face and eye brushes and I also picked up a big ass fan brush which I heard is really great for contouring. It's supposed to make uh, applying bronzer and contour powder very easy. So we're going to test that out as well. Um, and for this look I'm planning on doing kind of an ethereal, you know, very like light, colorful, pastel look using the Moonchild palette and also some shades from my Kat Von D Matte Metal palette. which. If you have not seen this palette yet, <laughs> it's so amazing. It's so versatile. It goes, oh, I'm like in love with this palette. It's the only downside is how gigantic it is and it doesn't fit inside my like palette holder. Um, but that's not really a downside because you get such huge um, little pans of color. All right. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started and um, I will see you on the other side. All right, so I have already moisturized my skin, and now I'm going in with my NYX Color Correcting Liquid Primer in green on my cheeks to mask some of that redness that I get, um, very specific to my cheek area. Now, obviously, this is going on very green, but don't worry, once I, you know, blend it in and then go in with my foundation, it will not be visible. And on my T-zone, I'm going in with a different primer, my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in Base Mattifying, their mattifying one. This is just to help keep my T-zone a little extra matte, um, you know, help that foundation really stick uh, in that regard. And now I'm going to be going in with foundation. I'm using my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in shade Medium 2 Santa Fe. Just gonna dot this all around my face and then go in with my damp beauty sponge and you know, continue to blend all across my whole face and get it in my hair, oops, <laughs> and move it out of my hair. That's what I get for wearing cat ears instead of clipping my hair out of my face with a clip like I normally do, but I wanted to be cute for you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop a little bit more on the sponge to focus on my cheeks area. I know I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point, but since my cheeks get the reddest, I need the most coverage there. Um, and then, you know, once that's all blended out, I have a blank canvas going on where I will be able to go ahead and, uh, you know, create the rest of my look. Now for concealer, I'm going in with my Naked Skin uh, concealer by Urban Decay. This is their lightest shade, shade Fair. And you know, because I really want that kind of light, glowy, unicorn, fairy look, I'm going in with a very light concealer. This is actually my lightest concealer, I believe. It's even lighter than my Kat Von D Locket one. So it goes under the eyes and you know, in the center of the face to brighten everything up. And then I just am blending it out with the pointy short side of my beauty sponge this time. Found some extra concealer in my hair, clearly. And now to set my concealer, I'm going with my Sephora Bright Set Pressed Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. And I'm just going in with one of my new Morphe brushes, powder brush, and setting it everywhere I just placed that concealer. And now finally, the final face step for right now, I'm adding my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my lid, up to my brow bone, and especially in the inner and outer corners of my eyes where I'm going to be focusing a lot of this product. And brow time! Time to do my brows. This time I'm using Benefits Cabral. And this is in uh, shade number three, I believe it's numbered. And I'm just going in with a kind of angled liner slash eyebrow brush. And I'm applying this product. It is similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Pomade. But it, uh, I just happened to get this in a little bit of a lighter shade and I didn't want to go too, too, too heavy on my brows today because again, we're keeping things light and ethereal and pastel and all sorts of stuff like that. 
Okay guys, I'm so sorry but my camera malfunctioned and actually didn't capture the first part of my eye look. However, I will describe it quickly using that Moonchild palette. I put Blue Moon on the inner third of my eye, Pink Heart in the middle, Purple Horseshoe on the outer third, and I used a little pencil brush to put Lucky Clover in the inner corner, um, basically creating like a little bit of a pastel rainbow over the course of my eye. And now I'm going in with my Kat Von D Matte Metal Palette and a fluffy crease brush, and I am going to be using the shade Ribbon, which is this nice matte purpley shade and I'm gonna go ahead and place that in my crease directly to deepen it and give me a little bit more definition on the outer part of my eye Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly go back into Purple Horseshoe in my Moonchild palette and dab it back on my lid over where I was just shading just to bring that, you know, main shimmer back into the forefront. I'm also just going to kind of refresh some of the other colors um, that may have gotten a little muddy. And now with my small pencil brush, I'm going to go ahead and mimic the shades on my top lid on my under lash. So Lucky Clover's in that corner, then I'm going in with uh, Blue Moon, and then Pink Heart, and then Purple Horseshoe on the edge. And it kind of is like a little bit of a pastel rainbow um, mimicked on both the upper and the lower parts of my eye. And now just with my powder brush, I'm sweeping away any fallout that came from doing that. And uh, man, I feel like it doesn't even do it justice on this lid because they are really, really beautiful and just like so perfectly blended and just so pretty. Um, but now on my lower lash line, my waterline, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner pencil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my waterline to make my eyes feel more open and wide and fairy-like. And now I'm taking the Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner Crayon in shade black, um, and I'm just going to tight line my lashes this time. So this is basically like lining your waterline except on the upper side of your lid, and this is just to help fill in any gaps that might appear between my lashes when I do my mascara. But before we can do mascara, sorry, just fixing a few things. I am going in with my favorite, my Stella Stay All Day. The last pencil I used was on its way out last video, so I went ahead and I busted open a new one. So it's very exciting the first time I get to use a new, new one of my liners. too shabby and now I'm going in with my benefit roller lash mascara and just going ahead and doing it on both my upper and my lower lashes this time so you know just wiggling that wand down at the base and making sure I have nice full coverage going on uh, in that regard Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean up any fallout and make sure that my skin is nice and clear um, to make way for the rest of my face stuff now. I'm going to use my new giant Morphe fan brush, it's an M495, and my Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in shade Park Avenue Princess. I'm just going to go ahead and um, you know not do a cream contour this time because I didn't want it to be too harsh. I really want to keep this look very light and airy. I think I've used those words like three times already, but that is what I'm going for. So I'm just... Um, very kind of gently using the fan brush to contour right under my cheekbones um, and give me just a little bit of warmth back into my face. Put a little bit over on my temples and we should be good to go. Now to make myself look a little bit more, I don't know, fairy-like? I don't know. I'm also going to actually contour my nose with an eyeshadow brush this time in that same bronzer and I'm just running it down either side of my nose and then I'm going to soften it up with a bigger fluffier brush um, to, you know, make it not, not super duper sharp but give myself a little bit of a cuter nose for this look. And it's highlight time! I'm going in with a pretty small concentrated highlight with um, the shade Blue Ice, which I had not used on my eyes, and oh my god, 
I'm living. <laughs> I was so excited when I first started putting this highlight shade on. It is so frosty. It is like Elsa in Frozen frosty. It is, I'm living for it. I think I literally just mouthed the words, I'm living for this. I just feel like it makes this whole look even more um, ethereal and, you know, fairy-like and unicorn-like um, by popping that on my cheeks. And on my nose, I'm using the shade Star, which is a very straight silver shade out of the same Moonchild palette. So I'm just putting that on a Cupid's bow, nose, and I am bringing it down to my chin and forehead to lighten me up a little bit. And I'm just using a little bit of a bigger stippling brush to soften out all of my highlights and make sure they look nice and blended. And there we go! Alright, final step is lip, and I'm going in with my ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Clueless. This is a very pretty rosy uh, lip color, and I think it just, you know, ties in very nicely. It's like, obviously gives me color without being super duper bold, um, and I think it's just a very nice accoutrement to the look. Just because I needed to be a little bit extra with this look, I am going back in with that shade Pink Heart from the palette and dusting it all over my lips to give me a little more shimmer and really tie this whole look together because, you know, you can't ever have enough shimmer, right? <laughs> and uh, with that done, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and just give myself a little shower with that. And that is it. That's the whole look. I'm just going to go ahead and dust over a few more things and perfect and whatnot. But I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, in the comments, please let me know if you preferred this voiceover or if you preferred the talk through tutorial from last time. Bye for now.